Let's face it, the supermarket is going to be the place that makes or breaks your health. In a previous video, we went over health foods that everyone should have on hand, especially if you're not going to be leaving the house for a while. In this video, we're going to be going over medicinal herbs that you could get at any local market that can help you to prevent the common cold and so much more, including viruses. Let's go check it out. Now we'll start with garlic as it's a very powerful herb and I don't need it that much only when either I feel like I'm getting sick or everyone around me is getting sick. So now's a really good time for this. But you can eat this in many different ways. You could chop it up and eat it raw. You can put it in soups or teas and uh, you could also cook with it as most people do. Now I like to make it as a tea the best because uh, it cuts the, the harsh taste a little bit and it's medicinally, however you prepare it, just make sure you crush it or chop it up as much as possible because this allows the release of a compound called olicin. And this has a lot of antibacterial properties and all the benefits of garlic come from this. So let it sit for about 10 or 15 minutes after you crush it. And if you're gonna eat it as a tea, I love to have that with either lemon, which has a lot of vitamin C in it, or honey, because that cuts the taste. Now lemon's great if you feel a flu or a cold or, or some type of illness coming on because it has a lot of vitamin C in it and it can help to break that up and eliminate it out of your body. I like to use either the whole lemon squeezed in water or made in a tea, drinking it throughout the day, or lemon essential oil. But the most benefit of garlic is eating it raw. So regardless of how you prepare it, always let it sit for 10 or 15 minutes after crushing it or cutting it up. And you could add onion to that as well, as onions have antioxidant benefits and some other nutrients, but not nearly as powerful as garlic. For the garlic tea, chop it up and heat it for about 20 to 30 minutes on a low heat. The more you cut it up or crush it, the better. And sip it with honey as it seems to boost the power of both honey and garlic. My favorite is Manuka honey because it's antiviral and has so many incredible healing benefits, but it gets expensive as the potency goes up so always get local and organic if you can. You can also add garlic to chicken or vegetable stock and that makes it more like a soup and easier to drink. And you could also add ginger to that which is our next powerhouse herb and it's great for fighting against all types of viruses and you can juice that, eat it raw or my favorite way is to make a tea out of it and you can see my video on that. It's very simple, you just chop up ginger and I like to add turmeric to that and boil it for about 20 minutes. Next is turmeric, and this is one of my favorite herbs, mainly because it has so many benefits. Too many to name, but it's been proven to be as effective or more than 14 different drugs, including Prozac and Lipitor, and it's also antiviral, including against the flu. Now, I also make a golden milk from this, which everyone I give it to loves it, and you can see my video on that. It's done with almond milk or another nut milk, adding black pepper, cinnamon, and maple syrup. And when you're drinking the tea, it's good to add a fat like a tablespoon of coconut oil as well as black pepper as it increases the bioavailability of it, the turmeric that is, or even better, cayenne pepper. Next we have cayenne pepper, and this is great to break up and move mucus out of the body. This is such a powerful herb and full of so many vitamins, including vitamin A, that there are complete books and courses just on this. And it's helpful against the flu as it raises your body temperature to sweat and increase your immune activity. Now you can get the whole pepper and chop it up, but most places will just have the powdered version. So you can get that and add it as a spice to many of your dishes, including herbs that you take, because it helps to increase the bioavailability of, of many other herbs. And pepper is like a mini version of this that also increases bioavailability of a lot of herbs, including turmeric as mentioned. Horseradish is a really powerful herb. I like to get it whole and slice off the skin and chop it up. It's great for sinuses and for your lungs to help open those airways up and to increase circulation. It's also great for digestion, constipation, headaches, arthritis, weak bones, indigestion, high cholesterol, and so many other health problems. I also use this with ginger and turmeric for what's called a fumigation in Ayurveda to clear out your sinuses and lungs and put antiviral agents in your throat and nose. And I'll show you how to do that in my next video. 
Now, if you really want to step it up, there's no better time to make my ancient tonic for killing off many pathogens. I have a video on it, and you'll see most of the things we've mentioned here are in it, and all you have to do is ferment them in apple cider vinegar, which already has a lot of probiotics in it, and is believed to be useful in treating a long list of conditions like constipation, headache, arthritis, high cholesterol, and so many other problems. You could also find reishi and shiitake mushrooms in most supermarkets, both of which I love, as they're known to strengthen immunity, fight off infections, and have even been shown to be helpful against cancer. Like garlic, you can put them in omelets, soups, and make a tea with them. And I'll link some of my favorite video recipes below. The next is dandelion. Dandelion is great as it has so many vitamins like A and C in it that can help to boost your immunity to fight against viruses. And I like to chop it up and put it into salads. For the medicinal benefits, it's best to get it in an extract, which you can easily find on Amazon. It's great for boosting immunity and it's an anti-inflammatory as well. Now you might have noticed celery juice has really been trending lately and there's a lot of good reasons for that, but many people have been saying they're curing themselves of many chronic illnesses and diseases, but there's a lot of science backing this up as well. So if you can juice celery, that's great. Two stalks make about 16 ounces and that's what is recommended. And I also love celery root as it's full of vitamins and has so many benefits when eaten raw. I just chop pieces of this up and put it in salads. There are too many basic greens to mention, but share with me your favorite recipes and remedies below and how you use them. And remember to check with your doctor before doing anything we talked about here, especially if you're taking medication. I'm not a doctor and this is not medical advice, just my opinion. And nothing said is meant to treat or cure any infections just based on my research. So I hope you found this helpful and you could find a lot of what we talked about in any farmer's market as well. So for all the videos that I talked about, I'll have those linked in the info box below as well as source links. And for more videos on health and wellness related to mind, body and spirit, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Good luck with this.